the continuing series of Hippie with a Gun. It's RW up here on Little Mountain and it's Gun Fun Friday. Wanted to show you a new addition to my collection of pistolas. What we have here, my friends, it's a nice little cowboy gun. It's by the Heritage Manufacturing Incorporated. Made in the USA with a lifetime warranty. Cocobolo grips and a bird's head pattern. It's a small bore Rough Rider. And of course, let's check the gun to make sure it's clear. Oh, didn't do that right. Okay. Now, this gun has a safety. So for real purists, you know, that just want a real cowboy gun, first of all, you're not going to want a 22, and you're not going to want to go with a safety. But I'll tell you what's wonderful about this safety. One of the worst things that happens is when people dry fire a 22, because it, the, it's a rim fire, so that means that the striker, the firing pin, it's not really a pin, it's more of a bar, is going to strike the side of your cylinder and score it and eventually that's going to cause problems with uh, weak primer strikes because of that dent. It can also damage the gun, damage the parts. So for somebody that may not know about that and they fire the gun a couple of times, when it's on safe there is a bar that goes all the way across and blocks the hammer from making contact. You can watch the hammer move back when you push the safety up. So that's one nice thing about it. It keeps dumbasses from destroying your gun when they, hey, it's a cowboy gun. Woo, woo. Okay, at least all they're beating up now is the hammer against the safety, which uh, can take a little abuse. It's got two cylinders, comes with two cylinders. It comes with a 22 cylinder, which looks just a little bit different, and then it comes with the 22 mag. And they're printed on the outside. You can see it says 22 mag right there. Let me just get this little baby out of the bag here so you can see it. Okay. And this is for 22 long rifle. Also stamped on it. So, no confusion. This It's easy to tell them apart because a 22 long rifle, due to lower pressures or whatever, or maybe just to make it look different, they put little grooves in it there. Make it look more like a peacemaker. But, okay, how does the gun hold in your hand? This grip, I've always liked bird's head grips. I've never owned a gun with a bird's head grip. I've handled them, I've looked at them, and I've always thought, that's an awesome grip. And I was not uh, displeased. It's much better for getting your gun, your hand back on the gun. With a peacemaker, typical peacemaker, you end up choking the gun up like a plow handle. And when you want to shoot, you get a lot of muzzle flip because you're on you're not behind the gun driving it. Now that there's not that there's much muzzle flip with the 22. But it, it's just a nice feeling grip. It's traditional and uh, it's a, just a neat pattern. I like it. it feels good. Uh, another thing that's nice about this gun is the size of it. Okay, Compared to a full size 45, I mean I've got big hands but I mean as you can see this gun is diminutive. It's a tiny little gun. It, it's, it's actually a neat little belly gun. You know, it, 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 because of the profile of the grip and the shape of it and all, a Mexican carry this baby by the appendix, you can't even hardly see it under a shirt. So it's actually a very neat little gun in that regard. But what's nice about this small handle is young people can learn how to shoot with it and it, and it doesn't intimidate them. It doesn't, have a, it doesn't have such a big grip that they can't get their little finger on the trigger. It doesn't have such a big grip that, that they have to hold it with two hands and, and uh, choke up on it like crazy to manipulate it. And the, the, the amount of force that it takes to draw the hammer back and to pull the trigger is not so great that some, like make a seven-year-old girl could uh, operate, which I can tell you from first-hand experience. A seven-year-old operator uh, can uh, hit a 10 can at 21 yards, no problem with this, repeatedly. Nice little gun. Feels extremely well built. Now one thing that's also going to irk purists, people that want like a what they call a real gun, you know, is that this is an aluminum frame that has been powder coated black. It's got a nice finish on it. It does kind of look like gun bluing, if you don't look closely. 
uh, the frame does look kind of like uh, it's blued, but it's not. It's it the whole frame, including the grip portion, is all aluminum, and it's just painted. The barrel itself is blued, and uh, I can't really speak for this. This may be blued, judging from the wear on it and the shine I'm seeing on the edges of it. it it doesn't look like paint wearing off, it looks like bluing wearing off from being in and out of a holster that's too tight for it. From the previous owner. But it's got it feels great in hand. It points wonderfully. It just it just points very nice and true. You can't see the sight until it's cocked. And it's just a fine, fine little plinker. In 22 or 22 mag, good for training a kid. Another thing I mentioned about when you're training a kid is, first of all, it's wonderful to have a single action. You don't really want to train them on a semi-automatic pistol because all it takes is another press of the trigger and there's an unintentional uh, discharge. Um, with, with this, they have to go to the whole trouble of cocking it all the way back, firing it, and then you'd have to cock it again to fire it. And with the safety on, the whole teaching the kid about safety and putting the safety on and off in between shots and all that, you can still teach them that with this gun. They won't get any real training scars, so when they move to another gun that has a safety on it, they'll, they'll be uh, in good shape. It's got a nice action. It locks up great. It seems to be quite accurate. I can shoot shot shells with it. I can pop shot shells with it like I was shooting it with a pellet gun. Uh, recoil is minimal because of the weight of the gun. So it's really a nice, nice little shooter. From the Heritage Manufacturing Incorporated, the Small Bore Rough Rider. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like these kind of videos, you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. You can always hit the like button or leave a comment. Catch you all later.